your own analysis just go ahead and check how much saving you have with yourself how much money you have as per research 60 70 percent of adults in europe and just usa they don't have at least one thousand dollar in their saving accounts they don't have cash for the emergency purpose for the investment opportunities or they do invest that cash to learn something or to just get some degree some some education and some knowledge what is your position on that here in this video we are going to cover the five tricks which will support you to control your spending controlling your spending will end up to saving more and a brighter future stay with us till end of the video hi this is Milad Akbari from Akbari Education welcome to your own channel let's directly jump to these five tricks the number one remember creating liabilities one of the greatest opportunities for you if anybody told you go ahead from the liability remember he is pointing out go away from the liability which create additional interest and expense on you but remembering liability and having liability inside your life by prohibiting the expenses of interest and additional expenses which caused by that will be a great advantage in your life whether by credibility of your uh, credit worthiness I mean uh, and whether from the other point which I will discuss now remember the time which you are liable of something you need to pay your credit card or you need to pay someone you need to pay your student loan or you need you need to pay any installment you will save from each side and aspect of your life to cover that installment payment why we are not bringing that in our daily life, normal life, that we be pushed up by a liability and then we are able to do more saving on our daily expenditure to cover that liability. In a simple word, I will tell you something. The mortgage is one of the best ones as a sample. It will, it will even save you from the tax point of view as well. It is a bright, uh, it's a, it is a broader discussion on how it will save the tax but for the normal aspect if you have a loan if you have an installment you need to cover that so try to receive some loan and invest that loan on something else and uh, like mortgage as i told you you have an investment it means your wealth as the, as the name of home house will increase but at the same time you need to cover your expenditures you need to con consider how you are spending to cover that liability back that will normally automatically will cover will control your expenditures during your whole life point number two or trick number two before you spend just think of that how many hours how many days or months it will take you to earn same amount of cash now you would like to spend on something like you are suppose you you're, you probably want to purchase a very high brand how much time you will focus you will work on your daily routine activity or your job that you earn the same amount of money by thinking on that i'm sure you will easily easily realize the value of your cash or the value of your time you're spending to covering the same amount of cash and bringing back the same amount of cash you have paid or you're planning to cover this expense point number three you have the cash now suppose you have a thousand dollar you would like to spend on something think of the future value of this one thousand dollar considering the interest rate the inflations or how much the investment going to pay you if you invest it now how much will be the worth of this one thousand dollar after 40 years after 30 years consider that one considering the compounding interest then realize whether you would like to spend that cash or 
you love to invest it in a place where it give you the interest or grow and compounding interest and have a more 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 and reaching to that goal of higher value in the future it will help you a lot to considering whether you want to spend or you want to save it or invest it in a better way point number four realize that as per psychological any expenditure which is coming to you suddenly is based on emotion most of them are based on emotion and just what 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 will happen you say no i want this i want this a simple rule anytime you want to purchase something not necessities of the days expenditures of the daily expenditures i mean but if you want to purchase something which is rare in your life think of that for 24 hours i mean one day two day or three days just postpone it by thinking about that whether i want this or no whether is it a necessity or no then you can control most of the emotional expenses which is a big part of expenditures during your life which will help you to save more remember one point expenditures or purchasing something is based on two things one is the necessity and one is the want remember which one is this expenditure i need this computer to help me uh, on um, editing these videos and the lower memory or ram computer capacity computer cannot do this one this is my necessity i need to purchase this one but suppose uh, I, I need a smartphone which can support my daily callings whatsapp uh, facebook youtube and social media and that the work I'm, I'm i'm supposed to do whether i should go with the highest level of uh, i mean technology in, in mobile industry uh, or I can just go with two, three versions uh, below that, which can support my work, handle my work. Consider the want and need, uh, the necessity which exists in your life, and that will highly support in controlling ex your expenditure and saving more and more for your future. The fifth one, and one of the important one, skip the brands the brands are costly and consider the value of your cash consider how much is the value of your cash just put yourself in a position that okay this is the product which is available with the supplier i mean with the with the shopkeeper or in, in online you're seeing that and this is the worth of the cash you have in your hand which one you prefer think of the value of your cash this is one thousand dollar and this is the product suppose a mobile phone which one you want to have if just you reverse the position and you be in opposite side and selling the mobile phone would you like to have that one thousand dollar or the same mobile phone put yourself in that position and this will help you to analyze the situation better there is a cloth from gucci from uh, chanel from dior from any branded company think of that whether is it worth that you purchase that brand which the same quality product but it is not a brand is available in lower price and you can have you can save or have more cash available with yourself that's important i saved i saved 13 almost 1300 dollar by just shifting between a brand product uh, or something which is the newest model in the uh, in the industry of the mobile and shifting toward purchasing something which is a bit older but have almost the characteristics which I need to cover my necessities in the same day in a single day I saved $1,300 and in the same scenario how much of the cash you're earning is spending on luxury goods or the technology or whatsoever fashion in, in your life consider by removing or saving by shiftment between the type of product or the model of the product how much you can save now and invest that in the future these are the five tricks which i'm sure i have applied in my own life and i'm sure if you apply it in your own life will support you a lot in covering your day-to-day -day expenditures better and more than that saving more 
for your future. Thank you so much for being with us till end of the video. Kindly remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.